Guys, Sony in Vegas 13 is available now in the Sony website. So what are you waiting for? Go download the trial version, try it out, tell everyone how it is different than Sony Vegas 12 in this video's comment section. And enjoy this video of the best render settings for Sony Vegas 12. What is up YouTube, it's your clumsy girl here bringing you the best possible render settings for YouTube. And of course, this is only a personal preference, so there's no need to be a little mad and a little ragey in the comment section. So if you have your own best settings for Sony Vegas, please comment on below and share with everyone, and that will be the best. So let's go to our video properties, make sure you have 1080p as your template, and you want want your fuel scan to be none because you don't want upper or lower we just want to be equal so happy 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 and in the frame rate section you want your frame rate to be same as your video so for instance my video is recorded in 30 frame maps that's why I choose 30 frame maps and in a view transform just turn it off or if you leave it on RGB it's gonna look horrible let me just show you this in a second or let's just leave it just don't turn it on because we don't have time for that so let's move on to the next setting and as for the next setting here's a little bonus for you guys who has stay all the way till this video so what you want to do you want to click on effects select saturation adjust color curves levels sharpening and when you have all that copy all the settings down here but i have two presets for saturation one gives it a little more a bit more saturation another it's a lighter one which is not too oversaturated so i'm using the lighter one since it looks better i don't want it to look like a hot mess i know it's kind of hot but it's not that hot after all so let's just stay with the light COD and that's just a personal preference name so ignore it and you want your sharpen amount at 500 which is default color curves just tilt it a little bit like how you tilt it what did I just say? What did I just say? Excuse that, but you just want to tilt it a little bit more up. I know you kind of sound sexual, but ignore that. And you want to copy the same settings as my levels. And it gives your video a little bit more clean washed. So you smell good too. And next, we're going in for the render settings. So the first one I'm going to show you is the YouTube 1080p. It's rendered out in MP4 format under main concept, AVVC. And what you want to do is go find 1080p main, in main concept section and you want your frame rate and profile. The profile will be high because we want to get high baby, yeah! And the frame rate will be the same as your video or gameplay recorded in. So I record it in in 30 frame reps I believe or 50 but I'll just leave it at 30 since that's the default one and YouTube only has 25 frame reps or 24 I believe so there's no need to go beyond 30 or more and a few order of course none we want to be equal we want equality boy we want it and you want to select variable b-ray excuse me that my apologies and click to pass since that's gonna give you a better quality but a bigger file size outcome but anyways let's move on to the bit rates so as for the maximum you want it to be above 20 hundred thousand or something like that i'm just horrible with numbers and that's why i'm clumsy and as you can see in the output mode you can use your gpu to render it to render your video and it will be faster for you and let's move on to the audio you want it to be the highest as possible so i would choose 320 since that's a better choice for me and it's all personal preference so follow your heart don't listen to me because i'm just clumsy so just don't listen to the audio thingy. And as for the video render quality, we want the best because that's what the video is about. So choose the best and leave everything at default and save it as template. And let's move on to the next one. And let's move on to the best quality but a bigger file size. And that is the H.264. You can find it 
under Anne TSCDV. Make sure it's on 1080p, 60 frame wraps. And of course, you want your resolution to be 1080p because that's the best on YouTube for now, of course. And you want your frame rate to be 30 or, or less, your personal preference. And we want non professive scan for the fuel order. And you want to select X264 here. And you want to leave your quality to 1. And I know it's going to give you a huge file size, but this video. It's about the best quality, so leave it there. But if you want a smaller file size, just drag it down a little bit. And it's all personal preference. So this is only a tutorial purpose. So if you have any suggestions, please comment on below and share it with the viewers. And that would be much appreciated. So let's X this and let's move on to the audio. And you can you guys should leave everything at default except the frame rate. And the audio choose PCM uncompressed and the highest quality they have it's 190 so leave it at that bit depth to 24 and to stereo mode since we don't have three channels or four channels I wish I did though but I only have one voice so it's stereo for now for now I'm not alien Good, good, good. And let's move on to the last one. We want our video render quality to be the best. Since this is the best settings, so leave it at the best. And that's about it. I'm going to show you two render settings, video samples to let you guys see which render setting works the best for you. I'm in love with you. And what day is today? I'm in love with you, and what day is today?